Hey guys, hopefully you can see me. It's starting to get dark. Um, and so the lighting is getting a little crummy. But I wanted to show you a quick haul that I got. Um, we actually just got a new Ulta in my small city. And I was so excited because we never get anything cool here. And they were giving out, as you went in the door, they were giving out gift cards as you came in. Which was like, oh, you know, it's free money. And so we went and I got... Um, I won a $10 one and a $5 one, and then they were just giving out, like, different discount coupons and things. I was able to get quite a bit of nail polish for not very much money, so I wanted to show you that. And these are actually all Essie. That wasn't really on purpose. Essie's my preferred brand, but I just think that they've come out with a lot of really good colors. And so I wanted to show them to you, and I apologize. This lighting really is kind of crappy. But the first one is called Snap Happy, and actually, these are showing up a little bit better than I expected them to, considering the lighting. And this is just like a bright Christmas red. And this is from their um, Leading Lady holiday line. But that's Snap Happy. And then the next red I got is called Bungle Jungle. And I have no idea when this came. And the only difference between Bungle Jungle and Snap Happy is just Snap Happy is like a cream. And doesn't have any shimmer. And Bungle Jungle has just a teeny tiny bit of like a gold iridescent shimmer. But, I mean, unless you're looking closely, like, it just has more of a, uh, I don't want to say metallic, but just, like, a shimmer effect compared to the Snap Happy. And then the next one I got is the Butler Please, and that's what I have on my nails. And I love this because it's so bright. But that's Butler Please, and this is also from the Leading Lady. And then the next one I got is also from Leading Lady. Can you tell I liked that collection? And it is Beyond Cozy. And this actually on camera is showing up pretty well. It is a mix of gold and silver glitter, which I like because it goes with everything. And it's just very, very festive and fun. And it's pretty layered over stuff, but it's also very nice by itself. I would recommend a top coat this one with this one because it is a glitter. It chips a little more easily. But that is beyond cozy. And then the next one I have heard so much about this nail polish, and I don't know why I didn't just buy it, but it is the Penny Talk. And it is like a really light copper. It's like a penny if it was really, really, really shiny. And it has just a little bit of like a gold kind of weird shimmer running through it. But that is Penny Talk. And I thought this one would especially be good because these kinds of colors don't look as well on me since I'm so fair complected. But they look really good as like an accent nail. And a lot of people on Instagram I've noticed are using this as an accent nail with um, Soulmate. It was just like a dark purple, and I thought that was a cool idea. So that is Penny Talk. And then, sorry, I keep reaching. I have these on a table so Webster doesn't knock them over. And then the next one, this is another one. I have all the other glitters, and I was like, I don't really like silver that much. But then I saw it on my girlfriend's nails, and I was like, I really need me some silver glitter nail polish. And so since it was, like, practically free, this is set in stone. In stones in stones with an S on the end and it is um just a really pretty there's tiny glitter it's like all different sizes of silver glitter and this is another one I think that's just fun for Christmas and looks good over stuff and then the next one is style nomics and that's from their fall collection and this looks black on camera but it's actually like a super super dark hunter green that is style nomics and the last one before it gets dark is um skirting the issue and this is a really really pretty like ox blood maroon color the only trouble that I had and I'd be curious for those of you that own this polish to know if you had a similar issue is on skirting the issue it was like a jelly and so I had to put about 400 million coats of this on my nails to get it approximately 400 million coats to get it the color that I wanted so I was just wondering if I got like a crummy bottle or if that's a normal issue because usually Essie and like it barely chipped I mean it had great wearability but uh, normally Essie's polishes I don't have that kind of issue with they're usually really good formula so I was just curious but anyway that's what I got at Ulta um, I had a really good time as you walked in they were taking your pictures and um they had like a red carpet and glitter and stuff everywhere and I took I went with a bunch of friends from work and we just had a really good time we went and actually got lined up we got there at 8.30 in the morning, and it didn't open until 10 or 10.30. And so, you know, obviously we waited, we got some bagels and waited in line. And, I mean, the line from the Ulta was, like, from Ulta all the way outside the mall. And they had to have, like, crowd control. It was one of the craziest things. It reminded me a lot of 
excuse me, like a Black Friday thing, but only it wasn't. And so they were giving away gift cards starting from 5 to 10 to 15 to 25 to 100. I really wanted that $100 card, obviously, but some other lucky person won it. And um, it was just a lot of fun. And then afterwards, we went to brunch. So I, you know, what more can you ask for? As far as I'm concerned, bacon and free nail polish. So it was like the best day ever. But anyway, I hope you're having fun. And if you have any good recommendations for nail polish now that I have an Ulta, I'd really like to check out Zoya and some of the other brands I haven't tried. Leave those in the comments below. And I'll see you soon. Bye.